Today we're making chamchi gochujang bokumbap. The name is the hardest part of this dish, so don't worry too much. It's a tuna gochujang stir fried rice. Most important part of making this dish is making sure that the vegetables are coated evenly with the gochujang and sesame oil. And then um, when you add the rice, making sure that the veggie tuna mixture is mixed well with the rice. Um, fried egg is optional. I've used cold rice because we had some, um, but you can also make this with freshly steamed rice. Um, in fact, it's a little bit easier. Okay. To start by adding a tablespoon of oil. We're heating the oil on medium-high heat. These are the spring onions and the carrots that we chopped earlier. Just gonna mix this around to get the flavor of the spring onion and also get the carrots cooked a bit. To add the, uh, the can of tuna, one tablespoon of gochujang, two tablespoons of sesame oil, and one teaspoon of sugar. We want the um, gochujang to be evenly spread, so coating everything um, before we put in the rice, so the flavoring is even. Just breaking down the tuna pieces and making sure everything um, is well mixed. The idea is just to make sure the rice gets coated evenly. Mix the rice around like I've been doing until all the um, clumps are gone um, and the rice is cooked through. So you can see everything is seasoned really well. You can add a few sesame seeds just for flavor. We're really big on these toasted sesame seeds in Korean cuisine. Let's give it a final mix. And you're done. This is your tuna gochujang fried rice. 